Hey, welcome back to this episode of Tropical Glitz. And today we're prepping this short block LS motor and we're gonna spray everything in aerosol cans. If you didn't know, Tropical Glitz paint is all rated at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's not gonna be a problem at all for this short block. So on this project today, we're gonna end up getting it. We already prepped it, but we're gonna go through all the stages from beginning to end and explain all the technical side of how to properly get an engine to be prepped paint it and not have any issues with the paint delaminating and get a show quality finish so today we're going to end up we've already sanded it we're going to come back and we're going to start taping everything up we've already degreased it and we're going to kind of go over all the steps that you need to properly degrease it but stay tuned to this episode made in day baby all right so today we have the short block this is an LS motor. We have the oil pan off of it. We have no valve covers on it. The owner has a custom made billet uh, oil pan. So what we ended up doing, this block looks like it's been properly painted. It almost looks like powder coating. We already sanded it. We used our Indasa orange sponge. And that's where you can see the discoloration of the finish from here to here. And so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna end up touching in and getting all these tight spots because that's the one that takes the most time. And then we're gonna come back, we're gonna tape everything up. We're gonna make sure we put paper towels in here, cover all this up, tape it up and tape because we're not painting the heads. We're only painting the block. So we're gonna tape from here upwards and we're gonna tape all down here. So this block already was previously in another vehicle. We brought it here, we ended up painting it. One of the things that uh, you can use, you can obviously use degreaser. One thing that I like to use and it's really aggressive is easy off, easy off, we're not, paid by easy off at all, but it's an oven cleaner. Man, that thing melts grease off. Now, another option you can do is, let's say, so this is a newer motor from Chevrolet. We have, well, I have, is a couple 350s and a 327 at home. So on older blocks that you're on your traditional cast iron block, your cast iron uh, block, sometimes you have the block that's really dirty. So there's a couple options you can do. You can do is pressure wash it, and spend a lot of time scrubbing it. But for whatever reason, you have bare metal exposed on the block. The biggest thing is that grease and oil actually goes into the pore. So another thing I like to do is actually put a torch on the block and start torturing it so it can sweat that oil out and then constantly degreasing it. You wanna make sure you have no grease in any of these spots because as you paint, it might look great, but wherever these little spots have oil, the paint's not going to adhere to it. It's going to actually delaminate, it's going to pop off, and then you're going to have issues with your paint peeling off. So the biggest thing is preparation, making sure you prep everything. So these sponges are great. We offer this on our website and it's an Indasa sponge. And what I love about it is this orange grit, since this has already been, it looks like powder coated, this is a nice orange grit. You can come in here and sand and you'll see the discoloration already happening. And that tells me that that particular item in that corner is sand and down. So we're gonna spray adhesion promoter and let that dry or flash off. Flash off is just another term we use for the actual chemical to evaporate. And we'll wait five, 10 minutes and we'll start painting this. This engine is gonna get painted candy red. So we're gonna paint it uh, a nice silver that we have. It's, a, it's called Comet Silver. It's a very bright silver with a high metallic ring. And then we're gonna let that dry. And then from there, we're gonna actually start coating our candy and we're gonna spray on it Aerosol Clear. That is a great product from a company called Car Rep. And they make a 2K product and a 1K can. And that stuff is phenomenal. So stay tuned and you're gonna see all these steps that we're gonna do. And we're gonna start papering this bad boy up. All right, so on this project, we're gonna be using industrial cover rolls. These things are awesome. Very, very easy to use. We have here Top G. Top G is one of our customer service rep. When you call the store, he helps out. And this is actually his motor. We're actually doing this for what year is your uh, Camaro? Uh, third gen, you see? Uh, so it's a third gen. And we're actually doing it for him because he's getting rid of his, uh, what was the motor you have in it? Is it? A 305. So he's getting rid of the 305 and he's going with something more modern. So what I love about this here is that we're gonna come here. I'm gonna show you. I'm just gonna tape it up generally because then what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up back taping this. So I'm gonna tape this like this. And so what's cool about it is this opens up. So here I'm gonna come here, I unfold it and then come here. And now I don't have to worry about it. And then what I did is I didn't go all the way down to the edge. 
I went a little bit higher because now when I come back with the yellow tape, I'll give me a nice crisp line. So when we paint the engine block, the biggest thing is that as the paint's kind of dry, but kind of wet, we'll peel that tape off so we don't run the risk of peeling the tape and having a hard edge. So here we're using another product from Indossal that we offer on our website. We use Indossal masking tape. And then this stuff is great because it's all chemical resistant and it has a very, very high heat threshold. So one of the things I like about it is if let's say I tape up the engine, I'm in my garage and you get sidetracked, you come back a week later, you don't have to worry about your taint being all peeled up because this has a, a high temperature rating. So it could withstand humidity. We're here in Miami, Florida. I think we're like seven or eight inches above sea, sea level. Correction, I'm totally wrong. It's six feet above sea level. The humidity is pretty high. I'm gonna come tape this aluminum block because we don't want to have any paint on the block. On this one, we're gonna fold this real nice like a Christmas package. And then we'll flip the motor around and we'll tape up that. Now, on this project, we have a timing cover. The timing cover, we're gonna paint it separately. The owner wants to do something different with the timing cover, so we're gonna paper this up, make sure we cover up the timing cover, and we're gonna paper up and cover up the whole crankshaft assembly in the bottom. All right, so here we're doing our sandpaper trick and that's a great way to take care of those strange edges and it's a mission with a sandpaper, but that little trick is amazing. So now we're making sure we catch any little spots we miss. We're double checking everything and we have the motor ready to spray. First thing is first, we're gonna spray our adhesion and pro motor and now we're gonna start spraying our Comet Silver. And that's our first coat of Comet Silver going down and look at that coverage right over black. Very important, make sure you spray vertical and horizontal. It's very important because this engine block has a lot of little crevices, so we wanna make sure we get paint in every possible crevice. And now we're spraying our candy, 75% overlap, and same process, we're doing horizontal and vertical passes. We wanna make sure we get paint in every possible angle and have full coverage. All right, that's three coats of candy straight from a spray can. And now we're gonna start applying our Car Rep 2K Clear. Very important, shake that clear can anywhere from five to nine minutes. Make sure you get all the activator mixed properly. And we're doing the same exact process. We're doing horizontal and vertical passing on the engine block to make sure we get clear in every little crevice on this engine block. Now what's great is that this clear is rated at 400 degrees just like our paint. So it is a no brainer to use them together. They're fantastic. Look at the shine on this. This is three coats of clear and we're done. This engine's ready to roll. All right, guys, you saw everything we did from beginning to end. You saw the steps, you saw us throw down our Comet Silver spray can right over the engine block after we properly sanded it. You saw that we did our candy apple red candy out of an aerosol. And we also included our 2K clear from Car Rep. This is exactly the result you're gonna get using our products and following our detailed instructions. If you love what you saw, please like, subscribe, comment, and check out our other platforms all by the name of Tropical Glitz. We're on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, you name it. And also don't forget, check out our website, www.tropicalglitz.net. Take care guys.